Hi, it's Barton here from Lung and Sleep. In this video, I wanted to demonstrate a technique called EUSB. This is where we use the EPAS bronchoscope into the esophagus and biopsy thoracic lesions through the esophagus. Now we can do this with our EBUS bronchoscope and it's fantastic because it increases the ability to reach difficult areas within the thorax. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the technique and I'm going to use a case study where I used this recently to biopsy an apical lung lesion which would have otherwise been very difficult to access. And I think it's really useful to show this because I hopefully it will make you think about bronchoscopy when you're faced with a difficult thoracic lesion. So please always feel free to send me an email or give me a phone call and I'm happy to review CT scans to determine if through some bronchoscopic technique, whether that's a normal bronchoscope, using radial EBUS or linear EBUS, accessing lesions through the esophagus, whether I'll be able to access a lesion for safe biopsy. This technique has been demonstrated to be safe and effective even when in the hands of a pulmonologist and here myself and some of my colleagues uh, published uh, from an Australian point of view that this is safe in the setting of lung cancer staging where we're biopsying thoracic mediastinal lymph nodes and then also here in Respirology we published our experience when, of biopsying intrapulmonary lesions uh, within the lung using an EBUS bronchoscope biopsying through the esophagus. So this is a case study of a 64 year old man who was an ex-smoker and presented with cough and the CT scan of the chest shows a little bit of apical emphysema and as you come down you can see this apical lung lesion sitting right at the top of the right upper lobe posteriorly with another little bit of a nodule just there. And as we scroll down, we can see that despite a little bit of movement artifact of lower lobes, there's no other lung lesion. So this lesion in the apex of the right lung is in a difficult place to access. It would certainly be very difficult to biopsy this with a CT guided biopsy from the outside. And if we have a look at the airways, there is actually an airway just here coming off the apical segment of the right upper lobe. So it may be possible to biopsy this with radial EBUS, but that would be it would be a difficult case. But if we look at it carefully, it does come up into quite close contact here with the esophagus. And so the esophagus might allow us to get good access to this lesion and biopsy that quite safely. I don't think there'll be access to the trachea. And you have to remember, if there's only just a little slither of air between the esophagus where your scope is, and the lung lesion, you won't be able to see it because ultrasound does not go through air. So we need to be able to get good apposition, but sometimes the esophagus can be pushed across a little bit. We might be able to get apposition there. Let's just have a look at the mediastinal windows. So here's the mediastinal windows. And if we just scroll down, we can see the lesion there. And there's just a little bit of contact. So I hopefully will be able to see that. Now just to demonstrate the anatomy to you, here's the esophagus. So we're going to put the scope down into the esophagus and the first landmark that I look for is the left atrium because it's quite easy to find which is anterior to the esophagus and so there's the esophagus there. Here's the left atrium. So with the scope sitting here in the esophagus looking anteriorly and seeing the left atrium I'm then going to rotate the scope around to the left until I find the descending aorta. From the descending aorta, I'm going to follow the aorta proximally as we come up the chest and all the way until I get to the level of that lung lesion. And you can see that the level of this lung lesion where it's likely to get apposition to the esophagus is above the arch. And so if I use the ultrasound and the aorta as a landmark, I'll follow it up until I get to the arch. And then I'm going to rotate at that level around to the right. And on the right side of the esophagus is where I expect to see that lung lesion. Here's the endoscopic procedure now. And the linear EBUS scope is just going through the mouth guard and just slides over the back of the tongue. As per usual, there's the uvula. And we'll see the epiglottis there, and we'll go down past the epiglottis and see the vocal cords. 
instead of going through the vocal cords as per usual, we'll just go posteriorly and find the esophagus. And once you find the esophagus, the scope should slide in there quite easily, but we lose any landmarks. So we just use the ultrasound as the to use find landmarks now. So I'm just pushing the scope down the esophagus until I find the landmark of the left atrium. And there it is there. So as expected, a large pulsatile chamber of the left atrium is easy to find. So now I'm going to rotate the scope around to the left until I find the descending aorta. There it is. So now I'm pulling the scope back up the aorta and there's the arch. See I can no longer see the aorta above there so I'm now going to rotate the scope around to the right and on the right side of the esophagus there's the lung lesion and I can see it quite easily. So I push the esophagus across a little bit and I've got good apposition to the wall so that I can see that lung lesion solid lesion within the pulmonary parenchyma. So now I can very safely biopsy that by under ultrasound guidance pushing the needle through and there's the needle going across the esophagus through the esophageal wall into the lung lesion and directly aspirating the malignant cells and cytology confirmed that this was adenocarcinoma of the lung.